Hello, we are live. Welcome back to my channel. My name's Jenny. Um, today we are discussing Love Island Season 9, Episode 55, and it's the penultimate episode. Um, here we are at the end of the season. Who'd have thought we made it? Um, but we managed it. So um, aren't we all grateful? Uh, it's it's actually, I think, shaped up to be a good season. Um, not as high as the peak of last season, last summer, uh, which was kind of a, you know, renaissance, as everyone said. But I have enjoyed this season and there's been good characters and not the good twists that we wanted, but there were at least some attempts to twist and change up the format. So I feel like uh, we have to at least give some credit because otherwise we're just constantly saying no nothing's good enough um as you know critics so I feel like you gotta give props where they're due um I thought we would just start today because I've missed a few episodes running down we I've I think it's just um the baby challenge and then the final dates that I've missed I think I predicted that it would be the other way around that we'd get final dates and fight no, um, baby challenge, then dumping, then final dates. But we actually got baby challenge, then final dates, then dumping. Uh, and parents thrown in there, which was today's episode. So, um, they, the, yeah, the baby challenge episode was terrible. It was so boring, um, really dead. And it just, it's giving nothing new. Like, I don't actually think it was teaching us about any of the couples that much it's kind of just an exercise at this point and yeah that could be a format point that gets changed up for sure because yeah um I thought it was just dead and and tired at this point um the final dates episodes um well yeah I think everybody agrees that Tom and Sammy got the sort of flagship and most of the budget with the Ferrari and that's the one that uh, all the boys seem to be jealous that he got to drive the Ferrari and he seemed to really be buzzing about that as well. So, uh, yeah, that's, I think, another indicator that um, the producers are rooting for Sammy and Tom. Um, and we, I think, see a few subtle hints of that throughout these episodes, especially that um, Ron and Lana were... Uh, had their date in a swamp like I, I um I enjoyed their choir I always love a choir or any kind of singing um but yeah the the swamp thing like why was the platform just not a little bit raised so that their feet didn't have to be in the I just I wouldn't want to have my dinner with my toes getting wet like I don't know maybe that's just me but it would have been just as picturesque if they were on a plinth where their toes didn't have to get wet in my opinion um yeah, uh, but overall, I thought the final dates were sort of unique enough to not be. Um, th there was no um, Faye and Teddy date. That was it. It wasn't as bad as that. So at least we can be grateful for that. Um, so if we want to move in oh yeah the other thing that obviously happened on those final dates was that um they all voted for each other and who voted for who and it didn't cook up really any drama um and this is another thing it's it's kind of like why are we continuing to go through these motions of what we think a love island season looks like the final dates the parents coming in it's caused no drama at all so i, I just I, I des definitely think there needs to be some sort of change up next season where this um, format is broken up more than it just being instead of them all voting around a fire pit, they vote on the dates. Like that's not that much of a twist, guys. Um, <clears throat> that being said, yeah, it was um, interesting as it always is to see what who votes for who, what couple votes for, what which other couples. Um I thought the vote from Tanya and Shaq to um, Sanam and Kai was definitely tactical. Uh, I just don't see any other reason because I just don't buy the longevity of the relationship equaling the uh, compatibility meter. Like, that's clearly not true when the fact that they're so close after a relatively short time to everybody else 
proves that they are compatible. I just don't think it's arguable with Kai and Sanam that they're not compatible because they so clearly are. Um, and that was borne out today as well. Um, and who else was interesting? Obviously, Will and Jesse and Lana run very for each other. And they like, basically, they was just like, yeah, it, it is what it is. Um, and so the other people left, let's see, would have been um, Tommy, Tom and Sammy voting for, I think they must have voted for Ron and Lana. I think Tom doesn't like Ron. Um, and Sammy definitely doesn't like Ron. So I think that's, that is what it is. Um, and who, and Shaq and Tang, yeah. Oh no, I already said them. Who else voted for Will and Jesse? Um, Oh, Ron and Lana must have went, Will and Jesse. I must have already said that. I don't know. I've missed somebody. But anyway, it didn't cause the drama that I wanted it to, like, that that those conversations have in previous seasons sometimes caused that last minute little bit of tension in the villa. And I think that tension is there this year. It's just very under the surface and not uh, coming, coming up to the top. I think um, I'm fully along the journey of having pretty much forgiven Ron. I still don't like the guy uh, particularly, but I do think that everybody is being so much harsher on him than Tanya, who's done much worse. Like, that is the simple truth of it. Um, and and pretty much every boy in there's done uh, just as bad as Ron because I would, to be honest, in the Love Island scenario, put... Um, getting to know someone and kissing them in casa on the same level as playing the field in the first couple of weeks. You know what I'm saying? So I just don't think he deserves to be vilified as much as he has been and called a game player. Like he's only as much of a game player as all of them are, in my opinion. But that doesn't mean I'll be voting for them. Obviously, I voted for Kai and Sanam and I hope all of you did too. My boyfriend voted for Tom and Sammy and I was pretty disgusted in him. I mean... They're probably uh, my second favourite couple, but I still, I've just gone off Sammy. Like, I, I just, I'm not as on board with her as I was. And I was never that on board with Tom. Like, he has grown on me. And again, like, um, at this stage of Love Island, it's sort of, you've got to forgive and forget uh, most of the past. And I do think I'm, like, trying to do that with all the couples and, and see this final for what it is. But, um I, I, I can't um, hold the grudges to Tom too much. I just, I've never like totally gravitated towards him either. So they're just not my favourite couple. Okay, let's actually get into this episode now that, now that I've babbled for nearly 10 minutes. Um, so at the start, we just get a little chat between Lana and Ron and Lana doesn't understand how gravity works. Like, I feel like every time we get a little chat from Lana and Ron, Lana explodes, exposes some of some ignorance or something. Like she always just comes out with something outrageous, and <laughs> you're like, how, "How is that the question you're asking, Lana?" But I mean, kind of iconic to be honest. Uh, but we get their parents coming in first. Um, both sets of parents are seem to be really happy. Um, Lana says that she, um, that he, she thinks he treats her well, which I don't really feel like we've seen a lot of that. Like, obviously we saw her not treating her well, and then we've not really seen much of them when they've been together. So it's hard for us to say we've actually seen that. Um, <coughs> I was, found it really funny how we just saw a shot and we did this like sporadically while one set of parents was were, were in everybody else just like hid in a corner at the mini fire pit or something like uh it was just hilarious they're all just like mm, we're here waiting our turn quite funny um the um yeah ron and lana's parents love ron and lana respectively and um seem to get on well and as they're leaving the villa they're talking about oh you can really see how real it is now that we see them together like it's way more obvious um the chemistry uh so I don't know that just it seemed a bit produced to me because I'm like um why are you not coming in here and saying you know the backlash or the um 
how everybody else in the villa even has reacted to the situation like uh yeah i just felt like there wasn't really anything real being said there from either set's parents um but maybe they just really want to not stir the pot and play it well for ron and lana to have the best chance in the final that that could be a possibility um then we get shaq and tanya's parents um she immediately, you know, they have a little dance or whatever. They're clearly like close, um, Tanya and her family. <clears throat> she again says the thing about wanting to be a player when she first came in, which uh, that's more exposing a game plan than anything Ron said. But anyway, um, Shaq's, um, I think it was his best friend and his sister really keep it real with him. Like he did not seem impressed at all and was just quite monotone saying ah, I didn't really like this this um and his sister was just as she said very straight up Olivia take notes um and um said you you should have maybe been a bit slower to forgive and I'd like to see that if you I'd like to see you keep your guard up a bit like and if something like that happens again treat uh, behave it behave differently and uh, treat her differently so um, she's not having any of Tanya's BS. And I did think that she was very sheepish. When they then came together, Tanya, Tanya's body language was so, like, meek and apologetic, but she didn't have the cojones to say sorry with her chest like Will did later. So um, I still I can't give Tanya too much credit, and that is why, like, I'm saying I don't want to hold grudges for people's past behaviour, but I'm still going to hold her accountable for her current behaviour, which is, uh, like Will's brother says later, you can't go in with big energy. You've got to go in and lead with an apology. And Will did that. And Tanya, no one, her family didn't hold her accountable for it. They were like, oh, my God, that was crazy. We were on Shaq's side, but she was, you know, they kind of laughed it off and let clearly let that behaviour off the hook. And I feel like that's probably a pattern that is why uh, possibly... Tanya behaves as she does um so yeah I just thought that sort of dynamic was interesting Tanya's mum then sort of wins her sister over by saying look we can ta slap Tanya for the whole Martin thing like we're, we're on Shaq's side so and then her Shaq's sister actually says we need to have another real conversation meaning with no cameras present um but you're on the road to being in my good books so it was believable, um, but I felt that they were a lot more real. Like, Seth, definitely Shaq's family and um, sister and friend were much more real than Ron or Lana's family. Um, I think that's everything. Um, then we get Sammy and Tom's family. Um, he's clearly very close with his. Like, it, you can immediately tell that. Um, Sammy's first question is, what do you think about anything I've done? Like she's worried about her the perceptions of her behaviour, which I thought was interesting, maybe because she realises that she just kind of cocked it in the last couple of weeks or last week even, that she's just behaved a bit silly towards Ron, um, in my opinion. Um, yeah, Ron makes a really funny comment that, oh, he's clearly very close with his sister. I don't know, like, just from his tone, I felt like he was implying something, but that was just like, why was that put into the episode? Very weird throwaway comment. Um, they have, like, uh, chat the chat together, and what just smacked me in the face is I just can't abide the whole cheat. It makes a stronger thing. Like, it's got to stop. It's just got to stop. Um, and it's not like it's, oh my God, it is cheating. You know, obviously they weren't exclusive, blah, 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 but it it doesn't make you stronger. Like I was saying to my partner, do you really think have if after three, let's say three weeks of getting to know each other, um, we had not seen each other for three days and in those three days you'd got to know and kissed another girl and then binned her off and come back to me after those three days. Like, it would be weird and it wouldn't have actually changed our relationship now nearly eight years later, made it any stronger. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's not a building block in a relationship. It's just a weird thing to do. Um, 
and maybe that is not a perfect analogy, but to try and put it in perspective, it's just it, that is not the sort of thing that's going to make a relationship stronger in the long run. Um, yeah, so yeah, they are still like happy with each other. Obviously, for the cameras, they want to give them the best chance to win. We move on to Kai and Sanam. And I actually got really emotional here. Like, clearly, I'm more emotionally invested in them. Their parents are so proud of them both. That that's like all they're saying is like how proud they are of their of Kai and Sanam. Um, and uh, Sanam's mum is absolutely adorable. Like, what a sweet lady. Um, her her mum picked up on like the thing that she said she really liked about Tom is the fact that he said he would take care of Sanam, which I just thought was, that's a really sweet thing that you know your that her mum would wants her to be taken care of and trusts Kai to do that. So I think, I don't know, it just seemed really genuine and wholesome. And um, we find out, I think, certainly I found out that uh, for the first time that Sanam's dad has passed away and she was asking, do you think he would have liked Kai? And that, yeah, really touched me, broke my heart a little bit and shows me, to be honest, that how genuine Sanam is that she is caring about that sort of thing like if she was just game playing here and trying to win a game show I don't think she'd actually care what her dad thought maybe she'd say it to get the sympathy but I honestly don't believe that's what's happening here um it's and then when they meet they all come together um the parents meet it seems genuinely like a meeting of two parents and they're complimenting each other each other's child and um yeah Kai's family are really in love with Sanam as well and clearly think she's the perfect match for him so yeah I just think um there's what what would what what else would they say like I'm not trying to give them a free pass and say um, they didn't bring up any drama and therefore they're fake, just like I was saying about um, Ron and Lana's parents. Like, what exactly would they be saying? Maybe Kai's family could have said, oh, you did well to get away from Olivia by the um, outside reaction or public opinion. But um, that would just not be classy and um, and would be unnecessary at this point. Like, uh she's a footnote on Kai's story so let this journey with Sanam actually be the main event of his time in the in the villa so yeah I think it was really sweet genuine and exactly what I wanted from a parents episode to be honest um finally we get Will and Jesse's family um Jesse seemed like she was trying to pull like a Harry Potter thing you know in um the fourth book where he's people's parents turn up to the Triwizard Tournament to watch them participate and he's like well who's going to turn up for me no one and then the Weasleys turn up and it's really wholesome so I feel like she was kind of trying to pull that like sympathy card that oh no one's going to show up for me um that's what it reminded me of anyway um but her mom and sister got passports to come to South Africa to visit her so it is quite sweet um Will slaps his brother and dad on the bum as a greeting quite funny um just yeah I did get a bit of a weird vibe from his brother and dad I can't lie but um at least um his dad told him he was punching above his weight and his brother was absolutely spot on you can't go over there being like you your most out of the box self you have to go in humble and with an apology for what you did in Casa to make a good impression and he's dead right like fair enough um the when they came together I just right this is quite a good point about Jesse, and I think it's why she struggled and probably why they got dumped at the end of the episode um it does come across as fake because when they sat down she's she just said so what do you think of us as a couple like it's staged like and I know I can tell that she's saying it because she's on the TV show and she knows that that's the next conversation that's going to be in the storyline and she's trying to be helpful to the production and make that happen. But it just 
comes across so forced and staged and unnatural that it's not endearing and yeah I think that's just why she struggled to become a fan favorite and get votes um I don't think it means she's not genuine I think it means that she's she's just switched on and knows she's on a tv show and she's done it before and she's done other reality shows before and she's trying to be professional because this is what she does um that is pretty much it yeah he will apologizes and um and his and her mum says you've got um her dad's blessing if you want to get married which is a bit full on but fair enough quite sweet um then we get a bit of getting ready, but it's basically the final dumping. And it was spoil. The it was so bizarre. Like I think um I heard it was spoil on um my jammer's um Instagram story before the trailer ran. But in the final ad breaks, the trailer ran with Will and Jesse there on After Sun before we get the final dramatic who gets dumped. Oh, it's Will and Jesse. So it was just like okay, well, I've got absolutely no suspense in this, might as well not watch, but I'm glad we did stay watching because we got the vote at the end of the episode for our winners. So, yes, I voted for Karen so now, as I said. Please do let me know who you voted for in the comments. Um, I do think they've got a good chance, and I think their main competition is going to be uh, Tom and Sammy. So my predictions is probably those two will be first and second fight, fighting it out, and then... I think it'll be probably Ron and Lana third and Chuck and Tanya fourth. From the previous public votes we've seen, Chuck and Tanya were in the bottom when we were at the Island Club. So it's probably likely, I think that was the last public vote that we've seen and Ron and Lana were safe there. So um, I think that's probably going to be the order. I think realistically, um, Tom and Sammy are more likely to win, but... Kyle and I've got a good chance, I think, and it's way more wide open than it has been in some previous series. So it, the final will be interesting. I think I'll probably just do um, the same format again tomorrow and come on live after after the show has um, aired and just give you my reactions to the final. And it probably won't be too long of an episode because the final's always um, super dry and I'm not looking forward to the speeches. It's going to be so cringy. But um, it's been a great year to be honest I've really really enjoyed um reviewing and uh and talking about this with everybody online I mean I've just got too many opinions about this show so I, I have to share them really um I think that is everything for me today uh if you will be so kind please like the video subscribe to the channel and I'll see you all next time guys bye